It's Friday, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day, 2007, and you're watching The Ointment. I'm Steve Tatum, your host, and I don't know about you, but uh, it's the weekend, and I could go for a kamikaze. Fridays here on the show, I take a look back at some of my favorite stories from this past week, and here they are. Our top story, U.S. intelligence agencies have reassessed their position and have made the determination that the nation of Iran is not pursuing nuclear weapons and halted its nuclear programs in 2003. President Bush responded by immediately adding U.S. intelligence agencies to his axis of evil. Continuing in international news, two big elections were held around the globe this week, one in Russia where Putin, the president, emerged victorious and one where the president was rebuked and that was in Venezuela where Chavez didn't get his constitutional reforms. This teaches you one thing about these guys. Chavez doesn't know squat about how to rig an election. Democratic fundraiser Norman Sue has been indicted in federal court on charges of bilking investors out of more than $20 million. There's a statement out from Senator Hillary Clinton. Sue raised a lot of money for her. She said, $20 million? That is outrageous. Where's my share? In entertainment news, Brad Pitt said he's going to give up acting. Why this is news? I don't really know, but I'm talking about it. He said he's going to give up acting, but he may come back every few years or so. Isn't that what he does now? Makes a movie every few years or so? I don't know. I don't think it's much of a big deal. He's given up acting before, and you know what I'm talking about if you've seen Meet Joe Black. In music news, British pop star Robbie Williams made an apology after he lost in court for slandering a music manager, accusing the guy of stealing a lot of money. Williams did this through his song lyrics. That's right. A court ordered him to pay damages and a lot of money and make an apology because of his song lyrics. Now, I don't know who he is, but I'd say we're all owed an apology from the guy who wrote the lyrics to the Macarena. And finally, I wrap up each week with my news quiz question. Today's question is about presidential aspirant. That means he's running for president. Mitt Romney. And he said in a speech yesterday about his faith Mormonism that it's not a cult. What did he say it was? A, a pyramid marketing scheme. B, a way to meet wives. Or C, hey, at least it's not Scientology. That's the ointment for another week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. Have a great weekend, everybody.